Hello there everyone, this is Storm Yim, and today we're going to review this. This is a PMP MP5 player, whatever the Chinese call it. Basically, it's something that's so out of date now that no one will ever buy one. This is actually one that got stuck in customs for about a year and only turned up uh, last week. It was so, um, such a long time that I actually wrote to the supplier and said, did you send us one of these of your old stock as a gift or something? And he said, no, it's the ones that have been stuck at customs. So, <laughs> so this is about a year overdue. Um, the reason I say it's... Uh, it's out of date is because everyone uses phones for playing MP MP musics or videos or the like, and um, most people have got something in the car to actually plug the phone into a USB or a aux jack or something like that. So this is more or less redundant, but I'm going to do a review of it anyway because it's been sitting here for months and I actually want to get rid of it. So let's have a look at the box first, as we always do. Stereo earphones, user manual, which I believe I've lost, so no funny Chinese. It wasn't even that good. It was it was fairly well translated. Um, <laughs> I'll just explain, in our videos, good equals really badly translated and funny, which this sadly isn't. Uh, USB cable, program CD, line in. Haven't tried the program CD. Uh, it's pretty unnecessary. It just plugs in like a USB flash drive. Not that you could buy these, so it won't make a difference to you at all. Supports SD, MMC, high speed USB 2.0, supports AV and out, digital bass system, high resolution camera, movie playback option, in mill games, FM radio, video and sound recording, ACP 12 Ultra Charger. What is an ACP 12 Ultra Charger? I want one of those. That sounds brilliant. Um, model number, who knows? I don't know what this is at all, to be honest. Colour is, um, I assume this means colour, red, because it is red, but again, who knows. PMP MP5 on the bottom of the box, so if you want to read it, you have to rattle the stuff inside and break it. And usually these boxes are held together with uh, magnets. Oh, and this one is as well. It's just a really weak magnet that you don't notice. So let's open it up. Um, there was a lot more sort of packaging in here, but again, I've lost it. This is quite interesting. It's a um, car cigarette charger, and... The other end, it's got something to actually hold the, the player. And underneath, oh, other underneath, other underneath, there we are, it's got a USB port. So you plug the USB cable into the side of there, and the other end into that, and it goes all the way down there and charges it while holding it. I thought that was a brilliant piece of kit. Um, I'm sure they exist a lot already, and I just haven't seen one, so I'm very easily impressed. But, but there you go. So well done, these Chinese people. Um, incidentally, the price of this was somewhere about 20 quid retail. So that's the sort of level we're working with. It's a, it's a cheap, cheap player. Remote control, which again is very nice for a cheap player. It's uh, the standard Chinese remote control where all the buttons seem built in and they all press and they're fairly difficult to press and probably don't do much. And not 100% sure if it works it's still sealed. I'm not sure why it's still sealed. Um, and sign a postcard. And stereo earphones. Those familiar with us on... Uh, eBay may have seen us selling white iPod style earphones with 99p, which with reasonable quality of that sort of thing actually. Um, these are 8 million times worse. They feel like absolute arse. I wouldn't put them anywhere near my ears, and they're going away right now. Over we go. And I've just realised I've got no idea if this is charged up, so good luck me. I can't even remember where the on button is. Um, let's have a look at the player. Nice soft touch finish actually, it's um, a bit like some computer mice. Very, very smooth, I quite like it. Again, 20 quid, it's, it's fairly good value for a cheap player. Um, 4 gig is what the model was, but the guy with the uh, biro in the factory couldn't be bothered to tick it. USB port, headphone jack, standard, nothing there apart from some... Uh, oh, that's the on-off switch, there we are, on-off switch is there. And a place for an SD card to go, which is useful. And I'll switch, switch it on or off. And let's go back to the main menu. Okay. So the main feature of this is to go in your car. It actually says car MP5. Let's play, take the projector off. Bing. Ow. I touched that fan that I reviewed and that hurt. Um, car MP5 player. It has a built-in FM transmitter. You shove it in the thing that attaches to your cigarette lighter. And it transmits music to your radio. What more can you want? You've got escape, play, pause, 
some button there, uh, VCH, I think that's to change the frequency. Uh, skip forward, menu, skip back. All absolutely standard stuff. And you can do photos, movies, music, and something else. Set up where you can break it. Um, I don't think there's anything on it. All there is, there's some, uh, what looks like a Japanese song actually. Can we focus on that? Yes. Para Para Sakura. No, I seem to remember it did have a built in speaker. Can we uh, increase the volume? Oh, no, let's increase the volume, use away. No, I absolutely lied, it has no built in speaker. <laughs> the, the music is playing, I promise. But, there you go. You just hook it up to your car. It's a transmit music. Life would be good. Um, what more can you want, really? Some options. No one really cares. I wish it focused better on this. There we are. Um, next. Nope. That's absolutely useless focus. These buttons are in sort of silly order. And they don't always work. Movie! Do they uh, preload a movie? Yes, they do. It's a DreamWorks trailer. Very, very jerky. Hopefully you wouldn't be watching movies in your car. That would be a naughty thing to do. What is it? Kung Fu Panda or something like that? I don't know. I don't watch these things. Because I'm more than three. Back. Back. Escape. Aha. Photos. Probably look like arse. Yep, there's a picture of Minnie Mouse, which I'm sure they didn't get... Uh, Licence to use, and it's trying to cycle through them like a slideshow, but there's only one picture there. Obviously, uh, very, very well programmed. And the picture was labelled Mickey in the File Explorer. And uh, unless Mickey's turned transvestite, I don't think it is. Set up, what can we break? What can we break? I think we could break it by just trying to use the button. Language, contrast, backlight setting, menu info... FW version, let's have a look at the Frank Williams version. Frank Williams will be happy. Uh, V102. 03. Is that good? Who knows? Exit. Oh, it's the only one with an exit button, and I've tried to break it. Let's attempt to traditional Chinese, because that looks quite nice. I've always thought they should um, start doing art with that sort of thing. It does look quite nice. I'm sure the Chinese don't think that. Maybe they think that about our letters. Who knows, answers on a postcard. That was the car MP4 player. Like I say, you can't buy it, so it's an absolutely pointless review. But if you ever see one of these on the eBay or on the uh, the old Chinese websites, you know what you get him. Uh, what have we learned today? Mm, the 20 quid gets you uh, reasonable quality hardware, but the software is a bit wank. This has been Stormium. Have a good day.